heaven West Virginia West Virginia West Virginia West Virginia We knew we didn't want to heat the bus with uh, purely propane heat, so we decided to make one of these rocket stoves that uh, I've seen a lot of people online make. And um, we also decided, because we didn't have a lot of mass in the bus to be able to store the warmth, that maybe we should try to store the warmth in uh, water. So we figured why not heat water with the stove and store it in another hot water heater tank and um, also heat that water up before we go into the instant hot water heater. So that's what we decided to do. There's just a three inch pipe in here for the heat riser. There's a four, a four inch square pipe for the burn tube. And then we have a four inch square pipe right here for the feed tube. We put a little door on here. That way we can get the fire started inside there. And um, yeah, we put a flat top on the barrel. This copper tubing circulates through uh, right into the existing uh, threads that were in there for the hot water heater. Tell us about the water. Pretty much we got cold water coming in down here, 18 feet of copper coil, hot water comes out right here. Um, yeah, there's no restrictions in the system, we just use the pushings that were on the hot water heater already and just tap them out all the way through. That's pretty much it. We'll, we'll store it in another hot water heater over here and just have it circulate with convection. We'll have plenty of blow off valves on the other one. Nothing really to worry about over here. Um, there's no pressure in the system at all, so we have a trickling, pushing pressure through, and it's definitely more than hot. Here, wait for it to fill up right this. Let's see it's kicking up. You can touch it with your hand. It's probably at the limit of what you would want to wash your hands with your hand. Probably like 100, 110 maybe. So today, I insulated the windows with your classic old bubble wrap here in Windex. Precise and precision cuts. See how straight that is right there? Oh. Is that it gonna mess this up if it gets on yeah. here? Alright, so maybe I shouldn't do this. Just towards me. Hold on. We got twisted so it's square down there. The bottom is square. It Because I know it doesn't focus that close. <laughs> oh, we're almost there with the spiral staircase. Hey Val, we're trying, we're doing a serious right video here. This is a very serious video. Yay! Val, very serious. Val, yeah. yes, very serious video though. This is the uh, the rocket stove that we've been making, and this is it installed. Um, as you can see, we have the inlet, the out for the water, and um, we ended up going down to the indoor grow shop here in Woodland, and we got this uh, fan. 
the four inch vent fan. Put that in the exhaust, and when we take that on, it really turns into like a superheated furnace. So, how to make it run the best possible. But yes, that's the stove. Hopefully we'll heat water with it. Let's go ahead and look at the exhaust real quick. That's the Obama Energy Police coming by. Where? Because our stove is so efficient. Oh, and the bubble wrap jumped. Whoa, whoa! There'll be a fine for that. An attack. Yeah, there's going to be a fine. Sir, you're using far too little wood in that stove. 